Okay guys, so today is Friday and I'm actually struggling for motivation. It is a kind of day. I kind of slept late last night uh, because I was waiting for food to be delivered to me. That's a long story. A very, very, very long story. It is Friday morning. Um, today is actually content day. So Fridays are typically my content day, day to film. Uh, we're going to do just that. Actually, this is filming content. But I must say that I actually do need some motivation today. I currently don't have any fixed routine um, when it comes to like my mornings other than wake up at 6 a.m. and then hop on a call that's email at 7 actually at 8 but before then just review what I need to review and check messages you know um, stuff like that hop on the laptop make sure that there's nothing pending on the client side of life and that um, all the deliverables are being put on and then hop on a team meeting with a team so currently I have a team off um, I think there are six so hop on the team with all of them and then you know discuss how about needs to be discussed right now my room is kind of in a mess so I'm gonna have to clean that up as well oh and I have some emails to respond to I think I missed that on my schedule for um, today so yeah so not so many items on the calendar for today Friday is pretty much for content I actually took longer in the shower than I had anticipated and that's because I actually got a cool idea so I had this email that I needed to respond to it was with regards to you know new business we do produce videos but for this particular um, video the purpose of the video is quite unique that I haven't done before or we haven't uh, my team and I haven't you know produced a video for that kind of result before so I've been thinking of how much to prize it and typically for something like this you'd go for a um, for anything that has to do with like raising funds and stuff like that you want to go with value-based pricing but in this case value-based pricing really works if like they can tell you that hey we're hoping to raise maybe 500 million dollars or uh, 1 billion dollars you know stuff like that and then you say okay I want 1.5 percent that for the work I'm about to do because this is gonna be the key factor to accelerate you to get in, in that outcome All right so I was pretty much in the shower and I finally got a response on how to approach that email and respond so that took me longer so basically I was working in shower and I think shower is one of the best places and I usually get ideas so if you don't like taking a shower go take a shower and you spend some time in there and you'd get some really 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 cool ideas and answers to life's biggest questions so i am done cleaning up the room as well so you can see the bed is laid up and i like to lay my bed every single morning it's really important to me it's something that has been part of my life especially since uh, senior high school so yeah laying my bed is one of the big things that i do every single morning my bed is not laid it means i'm probably going through something in life i'm gonna take my laptop because we actually have a client work coming in this wasn't scheduled so we have to try and navigate that so that's the thing with uh, running a, a creative agency you would have your schedule but your times that client work comes in is unscheduled right so uh, you want to also try and accommodate that in some ways if you can you don't always have to accommodate that you have your standards you have your rules but there are some times that you need to accommodate that So uh, the client sent in some work and like I mentioned it's pretty much on a schedule so um, I actually take a look at it and it's something that I can handle so I don't really need to be part of the team about you know working on the video whatsoever so I'm gonna take care of it uh, real quick and you know have it um, submitted like within the next 30 to 45 minutes uh, so that is what I'm gonna be doing right now. High level I am done for uh, anything that has to do with work. The other work that I'm doing for today, like I said, Fridays is for content creation. So um need to put these things together. Uh, so typically when I want to take a break, I come stand by the mirror and then today we open the curtain. So but I'll stay here and then look outside and actually let me show you guys what it looks like. So that is what outside looks like. This is um that is downtown Vancouver. It actually snowed this week and you should see what it looks like during the snow. Um, outside was so beautiful even though it was kind of like so snowy you would like it it was pretty amazing I need to go grab lunch so lunch or dinner so pretty much I do intermittent fasting I don't eat breakfast I rarely eat breakfast 
just on occasions maybe I'll have something but usually I'll start with my day with the coffee or uh, water but um, no breakfast at all and I'd have like a lunch or a dinner at least lunch or a dinner or sometimes I'll snack on like almonds stuff like that or nuts uh, to you know get me going through the day because of where we're staying at it's usually better to order using uber eats rather than like going for a skip the dishes because sometimes the skip drivers don't read instructions and they do exactly what i state in the instructions not to do all right which is they usually leave, uh, leave the meal on the main road because there is sort of like a gate there's a main gate that you need to buzz in to get access to before you can access the um, apartment and they would leave everything right in front of the uh the unit and so i really actually tip on skip the dishes or if i tip maybe a dollar or a dollar fifty because i don't know who would you know who would or who wouldn't uh read the instructions or follow read to follow the instructions so uh, it pretty much gets annoying when i have to go downstairs and then you know i hope that nobody takes a meal and it would be on the floor which is again unhygienic i prefer them rather leave it in front of the main door right here versus leaving it outside which you know, doesn't make sense and so it makes you actually think are these guys actually sensible at all because if you're delivering food if you're dropping food off and there are instructions that says the bus code is xyz like why would you leave the meal outside and on top of that anyways i don't think i'll be tipping i'll be tipping skip drivers again if i ever use skip so i ordered from skip again and this time you wouldn't believe it about the delivery guy actually uh, buzzed in, which is cool. Now, I didn't tip that guy. Now, I feel bad because he actually listened to instructions, followed through on instructions, and um, delivered. So, um, yeah, I ordered from five guys. Just pretty much fries, Coke, and um, burger. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to have and then probably eat later again tonight. I'd like you guys to put in the comment sections what you guys actually do on days like this when you're like when you need that extra push that extra motivation you're struggling for motivation you need to get things done so for me um i have this sort of inbuilt um discipline to certain you know to get certain things done and once i start working on certain activities it kind of like you know propels me to you know finish every other thing and sometimes i take coffee but in the general in the grand scheme of things you know also thinking about um, the end goal so the vision that i have in mind um the reason why i'm doing stuff the reason why i'm doing what i do you know that kind of like propels me even further so that is for me and for today it was actually today was actually content day so pretty much picking up the camera recording the first scene that was kind of like the trigger to get things in motion so let me know in the comments what you guys do on days like this when you are struggling when things are not working out and Maybe also, you know, for thinking about it other than family and other than the fact that, um, you know, sometimes you want to be able to hire your friends, you want to be able to hire your people you know uh, when you're looking for a job. That is me. Uh, you know, when I hear that somebody's looking for it, it's like, hey, you know, forget looking for a job. Come work for me. I'll pay you good money. So that's the level that I want to get to. And that's what I'm working towards. Um, so that's also one of the reasons why I do what I do and um, actually um, thinking about it for future family for my wife for my children you know uh, for the entire legacy that i want to leave behind so um, i want to make sure that everybody is well set up so wife family i mean children family wife children you know the entire the entirety of, of it and to make my parents proud so um yeah let me know in the comments what you guys do on days like this when you are strong you are in a slum how do you get out of that slum and catch you in the next video cheers